Welcome to the video series, uh, Companies the Book. Hopefully you've already purchased the book. If not, you can find it on Amazon. There's a link below. So in this series, we're going to cover the book. We're going to go through chapter by chapter. And this is the first chapter of the book. So the, what I recommend is you read that chapter. Once you've read the chapter, you um, can then take a look at the corresponding video and watch the video to make sure that everything looks the way you expected it to. That way you'll have some insight into what's going to happen in the video. Now, I recommend that you have your uh, idle open once we get going with that so that you will have everything that you need to be able to follow along. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to download Python. And I'm already on the Python website here www.python.org and that website is where you're going to download the correct version for you clearly if you're on linux you're going to be downloading a different version than if you're on windows so what we're going to do i'm actually on windows 11 so i'm going to be downloading the windows version if you're interested in seeing how to do it on Linux, I can certainly do that. I'm not going to do that by default, but if I get enough people asking for it, if you can leave a comment below in this video um, and ask for that. And I will certainly do a Linux version if that's something that you're interested in. To download the software, we're basically just going to hit that downloads and then we're going to select the button that says python 3.1 or 3.31 for windows and that will start the download and the software will be ready for us to install and it's a it's an exe file so for windows it's very simple i'm just going to say open once it gets down and once i get that software on my system i'm going to use the customize installation and the reason i'm going to do that is i want to make sure that everything gets installed that we want so all of those defaults that are there, we're going to accept those. And then I'm going to say on mine, uh, install for all users. If you don't have admin privileges on your computer, don't do that. But I'm going to do it because I do. And then on this next page, I'm going to make sure I install Python for all users. And then I'm also going to add the Python to environment variables. That's a super important one that you have to make sure you do. If you don't do that, when you type Python, in the command window it's not going to start for you and that's going to be a problem so i'm going to install that i hit the install button and it's setting up and it's a pretty quick setup and it's going to run through and install all that software and it does it uh this is a real-time installation so you can see it's pretty fast and yours should be similar if you're on windows the same as me it should be a similar time that it takes for you to get your software installed once it's installed we're going to start our command window it's important if you've already clicked on the command window that you don't do that because the environment variables are set up the path variable is set up at the end of the process and if you've already opened your command window that command window won't see the change in the path variable. So when you type Python dash dash version, you're going to get an error because it won't be able to find Python. So if you have already started your command window, you might want to just close that and be patient. When this installation ends, that's when we'll be able to start a command window and then we'll test to see if everything is working correctly. Now it's getting near the end, so it shouldn't take long. Um, like I said, it's a pretty fast install and pretty straightforward. I've installed it a number of times and not had any issues with it. It, it just, um, works pretty well. And because we selected all the things we did, it's going to install everything that we need, including the, the Pi PY launcher. So you will be able to test that, that just type in PY will actually run Python. That makes it very, very easy. And at this point, when I see the second O in those uh, brackets over there, that's about when it's going to finish. So here it goes. And our software is just about installed. So that's fantastic. And then 
I'm being patient. I'm not very good at being patient, but I'm being patient until it finishes. Then we're going to run a command window. Now, if you have PowerShell installed, you can absolutely do that. Now, this says, now the Python is installed, you can go to the online tutorial and all of that. You don't need any of that because this course is actually going to work you through getting started with Python. So I'm just going to close that. And then I'm going to start a command window. Like I said, if you have PowerShell and uh, installed, you can do a terminal window. But I'm going to just do command prompt, click that. And once that window pops up, I'm going to type py dash dash version. And it should tell me what version of Python we have. And there it does. And now I just want to test Python dash dash version. And that will test if my path variable is set up properly. And it is. So that's Python. If you don't get Python there, it could be that your path variable is not set up properly. Or it could be that you have to type Python 3 and dash dash version. Um, it's one or the other. So mine works with Python. So it doesn't work with Python 3. But yours may. So make sure you check that. If it doesn't work there, if you still get an error, it's that environment variable, no doubt, that is not set up properly. And if your environment variable is not set up correctly, what you can do is go into Windows settings and just change it there. If you're on Linux or you're on a Mac, it's a slightly different setup, but you, you can change the path variable from the system settings. Once we've got everything working, and in my case, it's all working fine. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the idle interactive development environment that comes with Python. The reason we chose idle and didn't go to VS code or something else is because it's included with Python. So there's no separate install for you. And all you do is just go on windows. You can see where it's installed it says idle. That's the one we want right there. So I'm going to start idle. Just click that. And then when it pops up, I'm now in the interpreter. What I need to do is just start a new file so that we can start coding. So I'm going to go to file and new file. And now I'm in the editor and in the editor, I can type our code and we're going to do a very simple program. It's one that most programmers use as their first program. And this one is hello world. And so we just type in hello world. It's a print statement. And because print is a function, it has parentheses after it. And then anything that's inside those parentheses is what it's going to print as long as they're in quotes. So make it a valid string. It's going to print that out. Then I'm going to save it. I'm just going to save it in my documents. And I have a Python folder that I'm going to drop it into. So I'll just pop it in there. And then once we are saved, we can run the program. So I'm saving it as hello world.py. Now I already have one in my file, so it's going to ask me if I want to overwrite it. And I will say, yes, you won't have one. So it probably won't say that. So then we can just click run and pick run the module, or we can press F5. So you see that F5 is there for a reminder. Just click run module and it runs and it prints out hello world into that terminal window. And I can close that and stay in the editor. And then we can go ahead and make any changes that we want to make. So that's basically your first program. We just print into the screen. Hello world. Now I encourage you strongly to make changes. So go ahead and change the text in there to something else that you want to see on the screen. And you can put anything you like in there. It doesn't, you know, it can be anything just to see what it looks like. So when you've done that, you can say, okay, and it'll run and welcome to Python this is what I put in there. So you can put any text in there you like. I encourage you to do a few times just to test it, just to get comfortable with it. And then maybe print an additional line. So I'm going to print something else below that. 
and try to think what's going to happen when it prints welcome to python and then my name is ian what's actually going to happen when we run that just think about what the output might be and you should do that whenever you do some code have a thought about what the the code is going to produce and there it is it says welcome to python and my name is ian and so that's a uh, again another thing that you want to do as much as possible run the program over and over so that you can test it and get familiar with running programs and saving programs and just build that muscle memory about how you make programs work so that's basically the end of the first chapter i hope you've enjoyed it if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe to the channel that way you'll know when the new videos come out and also um if you're interested in buying the book, check below for the link. You can buy the book. Make sure you've got that to, to follow along. And then you should be able to successfully follow this entire course. So I appreciate your time. I appreciate your check-in. Uh, as you can see, we have a Patreon. We have a, a coffee. We have all of those other things because we have a whole another section where we do videos on free CAD primarily. So. I will see you in the next video and these will be numbered per chapter. So this is chapter one. The next video is going to be chapter two. Thanks.